Hey everyone, Darren Bowsman here and you're watching Trailers from Hell. Today we're going to take a look at the 1948 Alfred Hitchcock chiller, The Rope. Rope is based on a stage play by Patrick Hamilton of the same name, which he based on the true crimes of Leopold and Lowe. Two guys one afternoon decided it would be a great idea to kidnap and kill their next door neighbor. Why? Because they wanted to see if they can get away with it. Let's take a look at the trailer. So. First off, let's just talk about the trailer itself. The scenes we're looking at right here never appear anywhere in the movie. Originally, Alfred Hitchcock wanted to do this as an opening to the film, but later he decided that he wanted to keep it contained to one room, one environment, so this was scrapped and just later used as promotional material. A couple of fun facts, there are more edits in this trailer than there are the entire movie rope itself. As a director, I really, really, really respond to this film for, for numerous reasons. First off, in, in today's uh, cinema, you can spend all day shooting and shooting and shooting to get 30 seconds of usable film. On top of that, actors can spend, you know, an hour, two hours memorizing 30 seconds of dialogue. Well, that's not the case with Rowe. Alfred Hitchcock tried an experiment here. He wanted to present this as almost as a stage play. Now, what does that mean? It means that all of the actors here had to learn all of the dialogue in big, big chunks. Alfred Hitchcock wanted to do this in a long series of shots. Most of the takes you'll see in this movie are 10 minutes without cutting. Now, again, it takes a genius like Hitchcock to pull this off, showing his true technical side, not only as where the camera goes and the choreography of, of lights and cameras, but also the ability to, to trust his actors, trust the performance, and not use editing. As a director, editing can save you. It can save an entire movie. Well, in this case, Hitchcock didn't have that luxury. The film stars Jimmy Stewart here, which was uh, one of many films that he would do with, with Hitchcock, as well as Farley Granger, who then went on to star in uh, Strangers on a Train. One of the things that, as a director, I respond to most about this film is it's a dance. It's a beautifully choreographed dance. You're not allowed the ability to cut every five seconds, where in my films, the Saw films, I have a million edits to create suspense. Hitchcock, proving that he is the true master, didn't cut at all in this film. There are ten takes that make up the entire movie. Now, what does that mean, though, for the actors? Well, you're pushing around a hundred-pound camera in and out of rooms. The actors had to, to maneuver around these cameras, and the scenes could not stop. They had to continue on. If you're a Hitchcock fan, I highly recommend checking out Rope.